Hi everybody, welcome to another video. A lot of the reasons I make these videos is because I like to videotape myself and it helps me to learn about my writing and the things that I might need to change. I was thinking about the way I am today when I was feeding. It came to me that I'm a visual person. I like to watch things and feel things and then do them. I'm kind of a hands-on person and I realized that that's what I've done with the two tracking is I've never really studied exactly how you're supposed to do it. I've just watched it and then felt it and then tried to feel my way through it on my horse by me actually doing it myself. And when I made my last video, I actually looked up two tracking to see how you are supposed to do it. And watching my video here, going to the left, we do a lot better going to the left because my spine is crooked and I tend to sit heavier on my left butt cheek than I do on the right one. So watching this, it made me realize that the reason we go better to the left is because you're supposed to put more weight on the left butt cheek going to the left and the head is supposed to be turned to the right just a little bit. You're using your right leg to move over to the left and we do a lot better that way. I mean we still have room for improvement and this is like I said something that I want to start doing more of and work on but you can see right here we had a lot harder time going to the right and I think it's because I need to pay more attention to shifting the weight over to my right butt cheek and I've never watched this before and I think that's why we have such a problem going to the right is because I am too heavy on the left side and he's kind of resisting me and doesn't know what I'm really wanting so this was really good for me to see something else I've noticed with him because I do sit heavier on the left side and I've become more conscious when we are turning to the left that I have to make sure I have some weight on my right butt cheek so he doesn't turn too fast because if I'm heavy on my left butt cheek he tends to turn quicker. So watching this I realize now that I have to pay attention to that to tracking to the right more so than the left. So the left was definitely better than going to the right but that last one that we just did to tracking to the right he did much better. So this is definitely something that I want to work on and do more of because it has so many great benefits to it and I think it will help our western pleasure to get even better. Okay so now I want to look at the two tracking again in slow motion. Positives and negatives. The positive is that we haven't done this in a while and this first time doing it he actually wasn't too bad. He's crossing over front and back and he's moving forward and sideways pretty good. There's a little resistance right there and negative is I kind of gave up on him right here. I let him kind of leak out to the side and you're not really supposed to do that. So positive and negative here. Let's watch this one. I think I did better if I remember right. So right here he's crossing front and back. He's doing pretty good and he has his head turned slightly to the right like he's supposed to. You're not supposed to see more than their eyelashes I think so they're not supposed to be overbent. The only thing I'm wondering if maybe I should have my reins a little bit tighter so that can be one thing that we can play with the next time we try this is using different lengths of reins. So I wish I had a better angle going to the right here so I could see my hands more. We started off pretty good but right there he started going more forward instead of sideways so I had to use both hands to slow him down from going forward and make him get over more and yeah just not as good going this way as to the left so definitely need to focus on going to the right more. Now we're going to the right again this way and I can see my hands. So I actually do look like I'm leaning too much to the left here instead of to the right. 
and I think that's really throwing us off here and I shortened my reins here and I think that did help a little bit. So this was very interesting to watch. It helped me and I hope it helps you in some way. Stay tuned for our two tracking journey.